ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Beyond Sol. My name, of course, is Open Potato, and a quick word of warning, I think this is probably going to be the last episode of Beyond Sol that we do. Not because this game isn't fun, I just don't think it scales as well as it needs to, um, in, in, in all honesty. I, I really don't think it does. I think the, the progression is fairly slow, and I, I just don't feel that we're making sort of enough progress for the effort that we're putting in. I mean, what's that? That's probably an hour and a bit that we've put in now, and, you know, while we've got a, a ton of cool shit, I, I still don't understand or or haven't got to grips with half of the mechanics that are actually uh, being displayed in this game. But, you know, an interesting game nonetheless. Now, do we have a mission for today? Yes, we do, actually. We do indeed. Now, what I was thinking of is trying to get a military station up next to our enemies. So, we need 24,000 credits. Not, uh, not the craziest thing in the world. But we are going to need a shit ton of uranium. Well, you know what? Let's, uh, let's set a course for the comet, and let's actually roll. Let's roll on out. Wherever the comet is, the comet is over there. That is cool. Let us jump to it with, uh, with, with good speed. If you'll remember, in the last episode, we, we did end up losing a whole bunch of our, our teammates, unfortunately. Perhaps wasn't the best idea to, uh, to go into a fight like that. We did... We did suffer a little bit. <laughs> I don't know why I did it, but I did it anyway, and whatever, it happened. 35, 35 units. Let's take three mining drones. Why not? Let's also set a course for our home base, and then let's, uh, let's engage. Did we get any uranium at all? Got no uranium at all. Well, I really do need some uranium, I'm afraid, game. So... A uranium, a uranium, one uranium, two uraniums. No, apparently not. There's uh, no uranium actually in range. Well, we could potentially buy it, but I don't think we'll have enough cash to do that. I mean, it's worth checking, but uh, but we'll 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 see. We'll see. I'm doubtful though. I'm doubtful. So we can actually sell off. Is it all of our titanium? I think. No, it's not. We need to keep the titanium. We can sell off all of our uh, iridium. Okay? Thank God I noticed that. Uh, let's also move all of you and all of you. Okay. So sell 100 of that stuff. Sell all of this stuff. And sell... There we go. Okay, so that, that gives us a good amount of money, but unfortunately, unfortunately, in fact, one, two, three, four. Ooh, you know what? That might just be enough. That might just be enough for a military station. 24,000. We need a couple more credits. Well, we can actually sell off a few more of those thingamajiggers, but unfortunately, I think we're going to have to, once again, find uh, another comet. You know, this is this is what I mean. I feel like there's just there's just there's just so much stuff to buy, but there's just really really not enough cash to do it. And all of the cash that uh, that you acquire is well, you know, for example, it's primarily through the fact that you go and mine and you sell resources. I mean, that's what it's all about, really, isn't it? Because we're not we're not getting a shit ton of money from our from our commercial center or anything like that. We're just not. We're just not getting uh, nearly enough money to, to justify it, which is a real shame actually, because I think I think the commercial center, center, the commercial center, the, the commercial center should do a lot more than it actually does. I just feel it's it's somewhat uh, unnecessary to to build all those buildings when you know we're not getting a super a super large amount of money. But perhaps I'm just doing something fundamentally wrong. Like that is that is always a strong possibility. In fact, I would I would go so far as to say it is occasionally a likelihood that I do things wrong. Yes, I don't I don't think that is unfair in the slightest. Okay, titanium, pal palladium, and uh, palladium again. We're gonna jump to the second comet over here because why the hell not? We're uh, we're in this we're in this sector of the galaxy anyway, so 
we might as well take the opportunity to do so and then we will be jumping back home very very shortly indeed there we go dispatch your drones pick up all of the units of whatever the hell it is i will take it iridium osmium and osmium good thing we didn't actually get any uranium from this because otherwise we would have uh, we would have been pretty st or we would have looked pretty st i say we i would have looked pretty stupid if I had uh, decided to buy uranium rather than just use the stuff that we, we mined up from those comets. But hey-ho, we didn't find any anyway. Excuse me, just taking a drink of my coffee there. Because it's early in the morning. It's early in the morning. Distress signal has just appeared on the map. Um, you know what, let's, let's divert ourselves to over there. There's a, a fleet strength of 8. I think not, let's not engage that. To not engage that at all but we'll see what's going on over here there is a distress signal we've got our weapons ready and there looks like there is three bogeys freighter captain okay okay fire off all the weapons looking to engage a pirate Tried to overcharge the shields. Wasn't entirely successful. Shields are almost ready to be overcharged again. Ah, damn it. They're very, very dodgy, aren't they? And they're managing to dodge fairly well. Which is a real shame for us. But we're going to get him. Oh, he managed to escape once again. Darn him. Darn him indeed. Well, he's going to get hit by that missile. I feel that we're just chasing around aimlessly. There we go. We got him. Dispatch all of the missiles. There we go. Another bogey down. That was way quicker. It was like shit tons quicker. There we go. You're down. I'm worried for our hull, but I have faith. Oh god. This, we're getting low. We're getting really fucking low here. Oh my god, we're getting so fucking low. Let's let our shields recharge for a bit. Oh, dodge. Oh, shit. Shit, that missile could be us. Could be us, boys. Could be us. Could be us. That is us. Again? Really? We can't take on three pirate ships? Are you fucking kidding me? That is absolutely nonsense. Absolutely nonsense. And we lost 7,000 credits. Fuck off. We had a shit ton of stuff on our ship as well. God damn it, I'm jumping back in there right now. Right fucking now. Jesus Christ. And you know what? We were so close to buying that military station as well. <sighs> I think we should declare war on people as well. Like, I think that would be would be great to do. In a final episode, I think that would be quite fun. Oh my goodness. So are we going to get all of our resources back? We might. I mean, we could. Wow, this place is... This place is desolate. Wow, this, there's, there's really nothing here. Looks like we might get almost all of our resources back, which is probably actually not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, and the fact that the uh, the merchant freighter died as well. That's something that I'm probably pretty chuffed about. That's 55 units over there. That's not an inconsiderable amount of units. Of, of stuff, you know? Holy shit, I, ca I can't believe it, but we might actually end up being richer from this whole process than we would be otherwise. How cool is that? That's amazing. Let's just pick up this stuff. And wow, we've almost got a full ship that's 150 units. Wow, we need to get involved in those fights more often. And then we just need to let the dude die. You know what? You think I'm joking, but that may be a legitimate strategy of how to uh, earn cash a little bit faster. Potentially, you never know. You never know. Okay, so where are we going to place the military station? I don't know. Potentially up there. 
Then we'd need to build a radar station to expand our borders. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Let's dock. Let's dock for a second. For just uh, a minute. Let's sell off the resources that we don't need, which can probably say some iridium. Yeah, just sell off all of our iridium. Thank you, game. Thank you. 24,000 credits. That's not bad. That's enough to build a mining station. Not a mining station. A military station. That's the one that we want. Gives ownership of the sector in all adjacent sectors. Okay. You know what? I know exactly where we're going to build this. We're going to build it here. Let's go. Let's go and do it. Let's jump over there and let's build, once again, a military station. And that should expand our borders, which is important. And it should give us some protection against the enemy who we are about to declare war on. Knowing full well that they are about a gazillion times more well equipped to take us out. But you know what? That doesn't, that doesn't change a darn thing. It doesn't change a darn thing. We are ambitious and we are brave. If my if my name isn't Orbital Potato, then then I don't I don't know what is. No, I no, I tried to say something motivational there and it just really wasn't coming across very well. Another comet on the map, that's kinda cool. How far the fuck away are we from the center of the bloody sector? Jesus Christ, we're miles away. There we go. No. There we go. Oh, sweet. This this allows us to do loads of fucking cool shit. So can we dock? Let's dock. Let's see what let's see what we can do here. Do anything cool? Repair ship and fleet management. Oh, is that it? I mean, we could get some more ships. I mean, I'll be honest, I'm not entirely thrilled with the fact that I lost my first two ships or my first three ships. City hates you. Your reputation. And they now despise you. Well, you know what we can do about that? You know what we can do about that? Let's declare war. That's right. I got an achievement for that. Holy shit. How crazy. How crazy is that? Yeah, well, apparently, we're declaring war. And we ain't got jack shit to do. Yeah, we have literally... We literally cannot compete against them in any sense of the term. Literally can't. It's, uh, it's a real shame. Declaration of war. Yeah, well, you know what? Why not? Why not? I mean, we may be the, the absolutely way less powerful person, but does that mean anything? Well, yes, I suppose it actually does, because we are way, 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 way less powerful. But at the same time, come on. It's, uh, it's a little bit of fun. It's a little bit of fun. Is there a battle going on? Where's the battle going on? Is it around our base by any chance? No, but it probably could be. Let's dock up. Let's uh, let's try and get a couple of ships on the go, if possible. Although, let me be honest, I'm not very hopeful. Okay, let's go to the market and see if we can uh, we can just make some money, basically. Now, I think it is here. I think we can buy these just with cash, which is kind of nice. Could also go for an upgrade before we get these bad boys. Or maybe an upgrade of this. Yeah, I don't know. I think we'll probably try and go for an upgrade. And we'll just sell off literally everything we've got. Wow, holy shit. That, that did not net us very much cash. Wow, that, that did, did not make us very much cash, I'm afraid. Uh, I was expecting, or I was maybe hoping, for a little bit more. Okay, we don't have enough credits for this. 400 and, 470 more. Well, as soon as our next shipment of Iridium arrives, I think we may be okay to do that. Um, although we've got 11 out of 12 points, that's not the best thing in the world. I guess, I guess we'll probably take the battle to them, then, I guess. Let's go and terrorize their, uh, their, their biting station. Let's fucking do it. You know what they say? They say, go big or go home. And, uh, I ain't going home. 
Military station under attack. I did think that that would happen. You know what? I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I am going to venture into enemy territory, and I'm going to try and take them out. Because I've got bigger nuts than they do. That's right. Can I not use my shield booster on it? Apparently I can't use my, my shield laser against it. We're going to absolutely fucking wreck this place. Just spamming all of the weapons right now. And it is going down quickly. Holy shit, is it going down quickly. Bogies are flying in from everywhere. Can we take it out? I would love to take this out before... Uh, Okay, as soon as the shields are off, I'm, I'm heading to the military station. But we are we are working on it. We're working on it. We're taking it down. We're taking it down. Okay, yeah, yeah, we need to back out of here. We need to back out of here. We just can't afford to lose any ships. Shit, come on. Come on. Jesus Christ! How how do I have a how do I have an ability to literally fail to take my ships out of there every time? Like, just seems pathetic. War score. I have no idea how this mechanic works, but apparently we're not doing badly. We're we're still doing okay for war score. We've got two percent in comparison to their three percent, and it's we're still being attacked at our military station. Not super thrilled about that, I'll be honest with you. Not super fucking thrilled. Let's dock up. Let's try and buy another ship. Because we need one for the, the battle, the war that is taking place. Okay, fleet. Thank you. Take one. It's not, it's not the best, I know. It's, it's not the best at all, but let's repair everything. Let's undock. Let's head back on the map. Holy shit, they, they absolutely took out my... Uh, they took out my military station, and now they're attacking... Now they're attacking that, uh, that, that, that radar outpost. And you know what the crazy thing is, right? I don't even feel that I've done that badly. I just feel... Why have they got a 100% war score right now? How the hell have they done that? Like, I thought my military station was supposed to be, you know, strong in some way or another. It just wasn't. It just crumbled. That was barely any time that they were attacking it. Like, what the hell? I was attacking... I've, I've been attacking their military station for fucking ages. I'm just I'm trying to get this down as low as I possibly can. So that we can actually, you know, just, just claim it. And just say, hey, this is something that we did. Of course, they've got their ships arriving. That's not something I'm super thrilled about, as you can probably imagine. And me trying to take this military station out, or this mining station out by myself, it's probably not going to end well. We're going to give it our best shot. And then we're going to try and get away. If we can do that. I mean, little by little, we're working on it. Oh, God. Come on. Come on, you beauty. Come on. One more missile. One more missile. Then we'll get out of here. There we go. Let's let's head out. Let's get back. Let's jump. Let's jump. Just jump. Just jump. Just jump. Jump. Run. Jump away. And they probably destroyed our... Yeah, they, they, they're they destroying this fairly well. Yeah, not, not, super, not super keen about that. Let's... Should we demand that they surrender? Demand peace. Okay. We will not surrender and keep this <laughs> conflict going as long as it takes. How did I... How did I guess that that would be the reality? There's a pirate bounty over there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so that happens I don't want to say we lost I mean lost is such a hard word uh, but maybe tactically retreated is is just what happened right there 
Maybe a little bit of a tactical retreat. Perhaps we should just go for their base. Like, just fucking go for it. I mean, it might be worth it. We'll just charge right on in there. I mean, this is... We're entering the last... Uh, our mining station is under attack. Well, well, buddy, your base is about to be under attack. That's right, you heard me. Uh, yeah, so... Not super thrilled about the, the whole fact that our radar outpost was destroyed or our mining place was destroyed, but... Ah, uh, whatever. Whatever, I guess. Maybe I've just played really, really badly. But I, I haven't... I don't feel that I have. I feel that I've been... I don't, I don't want to say, you know, constantly mining, but I've been mining a fair bit. I, I don't know. That's really, really strange. That is very, very peculiar. Okay, here we are. Okay. Try and take out as much shit as we can. Wow, holy shit, they've got turrets and, and stuff. Which I don't think we're going to be able to destroy, I'm afraid. I think this is going to be way too difficult. Also, why the hell does my, my targeting beam not work on... Not work on anything? And why the... Holy shit, that is just destroying us. It's my entire... My entire fleet is down. Ball sacks. Well, I'm out of here, boys. See you later. See you fucking later. I'm 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 gone. I'm I'm fucking gone. Just get out of here. Maybe sneakily go back to our own base and pretend that that engagement never actually happened. Jesus Christ. God damn, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching Beyond Saul. Uh, at the moment, this game. I think, in all fairness, it's too slow to cover on the channel, unfortunately. As much as I enjoy it, and I have enjoyed playing it, I feel that the progression is its just not up to scratch. You know, there's just... It's, it's just not worth it. Like, I, I feel that we've made barely any progress in, like, an hour and a half. And, you know, it's it's been of solid play, but, you know, hey-ho. Sometimes that's the reality of the situation with the game. But definitely an interesting uh, little concept, and I do like it. And I like the way that it controls, and I like how it controls, you know, somewhat like uh, like uh, an, 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 an MMO, for example, with all of the buttons that uh, that you've got to spam to um, to use all your abilities and stuff. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, the combat's all right. It's not the best, but it's all right. You know, and the the trading system, it's kind of cool. I like it. Diplomacy menu. Um, no, I wanted you to dock. Yeah, the diplomacy menu, I don't really understand how it works, I'll be honest. Um, I don't understand how I can get a, a treaty or whatever. Like, maybe if that was explained a little bit better to me, that would be fantastic. But I don't really know how it works. But, you know, that's that's on me, that one. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obadito. This has been Beyond Saul. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.